Hi, I'm Randy Reed, editor of Designing Lighting Magazine, and we are here at Leiden Building in Frankfurt, Germany, and I am joined by Jack Nils of Ferros Lighting from the UK. Tell us a little bit about your company. So Ferros was started in uh, 2014, and we've been doing uh, reliable DMX lighting control uh, since then. Sorry, it wasn't 2014, it was 2004. Uh, okay, 2004 is fine. 2004, yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, since then, DMX lighting controllers for uh, uh, what we call architainment style projects, right. where you know large facades, things like the London Eye, these you know uh, iconic landmarks that need a, a lighting controller that's rock solid. It just sits there doing the uh, doing the lighting output for these things, and we've been doing that yeah for coming up to twenty. You years. say entertainment, but we're seeing a lot of DMX controls now in non-entertainment areas. Do you see that in the UK? Very much so, and. Uh, we're seeing that in the UK and a lot in the US as well when it comes to you know guys wanting really high quality lighting control right that's the uh, that's the thing that we're really seeing growth in at the minute and, and DMX offers that in the way that it uh, it works contrast DMX to Dolly they're, they're totally <sighs> different correct yeah they are it's uh it's, it's a tough one you know we we do support both on all of well all of our products uh but so I mean Dolly you send a message, it goes out to the fixtures, the fixtures act upon that, right? So they see, I need to go to a certain level in a certain amount of time. And it's down to the fixture to do, do all of that fading and do all of that, uh, all of that working out. Whereas with DMX, it's a constant stream of data. Around 25 times a second, new data is pushed out onto the DMX, uh, DMX cabling and uh, the fixtures receive that and they immediately go to that level. So the, D, uh, the the real contrast here is that DMX is control. Uh, DMX is directly in control of all of the parameters. But when you're wanting really nice fades across all of your project between you know intensity, color, and uh, as we're seeing more and more uh, dynamic color adjustment, um, that's where the you know the high quality of DMX really really kicks in. Okay, and what are some of your markets that you go after? So yeah, we uh, you know. Predominantly, we've been doing that architainment uh, sector, which, you know, the big facades, these sorts of things in the past. But we're, we're here at Light and Building to introduce Faros Expert, which is our, our new range of lighting control with DMX and Dali on board. And that's, you know, looking at, looking at slightly different places. You know, uh, Faros has been used in things like hospitality in the past, but we've, you know, we've got this new range that um, allows us to uh, go into some new markets, maybe. Okay. hospitality etc how's the show going for you really good yeah yeah i mean the uh the show's really picked up we're we're happy with the you know sort of footfall it's it's roughly how what we'd expect and our customers new and uh new and long term are all uh, all happy with the faros expert it's been a long time coming so we're we're glad to finally be here to get it out there right, tell me about the u.s market so yeah, the US market, with uh, like I mentioned earlier, we're, we're seeing a lot of growth with DMX control, right? Over here in Europe, there's a lot of Dali, just because of the way things have worked, right? But but over in the US, we're, we're seeing real growth in DMX in the, the types of projects that I mentioned earlier. We have uh, an existing network for our existing products, but with the uh, with our new product range, we're looking to expand that out uh, even further. And have, have even more reps. Exactly. Yeah, okay, yeah. excellent. So well, I want to thank you for sitting with me. And hey, no uh, just one thing for our audience that I honestly needs to know, my interviews are very friendly interviews. The reason he is sweating is not because of the intensity of the interview, but because oh. he ran about two miles to get here way. to be on time. And I just want you to know that I do appreciate that. Hey, no worries. Thank okay? you for having me.